Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be, well finally I'm getting this video out. I haven't tried to get a video out like this since September so and also last month but what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine October with November since November has just started. But today's going to be a favorites video. Um, it's going to basically be everything that I've been loving from last month and to November right now. So um, I kind of have it split up into like three or four categories. The first I'm going to do is beauty. So it's going to be like makeup products that I am raving about or I'm loving at the moment. So um, let's start out with palettes. I did my first makeup video with this palette um, like a, probably like a month ago. But this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I have been loving it. Um, as you can see, I've been using a good amount of the colors in it. This is the palette that I use when I really want to be more toned down and not as noticeable. And that's because it has a lot of neutral tones in it. But I'm a neutral tone person. You probably have realized that by now. But I love golds and browns and nude tones for my eyeshadows. The next is my Nubian palette. This is like my Holy Grail product. I've been using it constantly since I got it. As you can see, I need to get a new one, and it's all dirty, but I have hit pan on pretty much a good amount of the shadows in this palette, so that's my next one, but um, this is the palette that really made, sold me on Juvia's. I was like, okay, yeah, I like this brand. I really do. And the last palette that I'm going to show is, I use this in pretty much all my videos, and is what I have on right now that's giving me a slight glow. Um, I don't go heavy handed with it because I don't want to be like sunburst. But it's the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's the That Glow palette. These two colors at the bottom. Bubbly and Dripping in Gold. I just use those on my cheek and down my nose and my cupid's bow. So those are the three palettes that I have been loving for some months now. Not just. October and November but there they are again next continuing with makeup um I have been loving you know I love a red look I've been loving this red here by lip bar every time I wear it I get a lot of compliments and people always ask me which red is that and it comes off a little to me a little darker in the tube but when I apply it it's not as dark and this is in the color boss lady i actually got into lip bar products when i was living in michigan because they're Mich i think they're based in detroit but they're all natural vegan company so that's one thing that i liked about it i've been trying to implement more natural cosmetics into my skincare regimen and just makeup routine all together so yeah this is the color and it's i like the packaging of it as well and it's a liquid lipstick it's matte and this is how the applicator looks and another liquid lipstick which is the one that I'm wearing today it is by Colourpop this is actually the ultra matte look I had the original LAX that was just in the I don't know what it was called it was just like the regular matte lipsticks but this is the ultra matte one and I can't say that it is ultra matte like I can pat my lips and I have nothing on my hand but um I think this is like everybody's kind of favorite burgundy. To me, it's like the perfect burgundy for my skin. And it's just a close-up of it. I love LAX and Limbo. Those were the first two liquid lipsticks that I got from ColourPop. And that's how that looks. And that's all that I have for makeup items. Next, we're going to go on to scents that I've been loving as far as perfumes and just all my little sprays and stuff that when I walk in the room, everyone is like... What is that smell? It is, it's me. I am that smell. <laughs> but, um, the first thing, um, is black opium. I know this is a lot, a lot of people love this perfume. And honestly, seeing everyone talk about it on YouTube and Instagram made me buy it. It's by, um, YSL. Yves St. Laurent. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But, this is just how... It looks, it's such a nice packaging. 
and it has it, the top comes off like this and then you just spray it like that and it's just it smells so good it's like it's the scent but for real, first my sister had the scent and I'm just like I want that scent because I, I remember us talking about it I didn't know she had already purchased it and then the bottle it's, it has like this glittery look all over so I really love that gotta put a little bit on right now and just rub it <laughs> on myself but I love this scent and it's more of a um to me it is a little more what is the word um mature scent me being like a little younger I was kind of iffy about it because I'm not a huge perfume per person so this is definitely not an everyday perfume for me I wear it like for special occasions or going out or when I just want that extra yeah the next one is this perfume here <laughs> by Giorgio Arm Armani um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that so I'm just not going to attempt to and this is the packaging of it as you can see it has been used because it's like half a bottle of but I love the packaging of it. it's like this pretty orangey peach color and it smells so good this is kind of it has like floral sense to me like it's like a floral undertone in it and it's just I don't know it just it smells like really girly to me I'm doing a dash of that too <laughs> wherever I go after I shoot this video they're gonna smell me <laughs> in a good way <laughs> but those folks smell like so good to me I highly suggest that you all go out and grab them if you don't have them or if you have either one below let me know that if you like them or not and last but not least um like I said before I'm not a huge rare perfume rare perfume on a daily basis so this is a body spray that I love um I always like body sprays just to have them in my purse or I have like the travel size one but this is the one it's just a Victoria's Secret fragrance mist and it's in the um the fragrance it's in a scent blush and this is just how it looks that's how it comes with this gold top and it smells so good it's like it smells similar to one another one another scent that I have but I just kind of spray it all over like with a body spray you can kind of be heavy handed with it because it's going to wear off throughout the day with a perfume you kind of have to be light handed with it because you don't want it to smell like oh she just put the whole bottle on herself she just drenched herself in it we don't want that but yeah I do like this I'm not going to spray this on myself because <laughs> I don't need all that going on Here they are again. Okay, moving right along to hair care. Underneath this hair here, I do have a head full of natural hair. I've been natural my whole life, fun fact. So, I have went through several products. And just most recently when I got this product that I'm about to talk about now for my sister, I'm just like, oh my God, like, where has this been my whole hair care life? But um, first, it's this Man and Tail Detangler. I showed this in one of my vlog videos, but this is like my Holy Grail Detangler. I, it's like an old school one. But I've been using it for some years, and it always works good on my hair. And this is how the bottle of it looks. I get this from Sally's, but you can get it from any beauty supply store. I think you can get it from Walmart, pretty much anywhere, Target's walgreens i think and then this is the product that i am definitely raving about it's the mix mix chicks leave-in conditioner and that's how the bottle looks and no i am not mixed i am 100 percent black but this works really good on my hair um their products are not just for um people that are of mixed races but um yes this works very well on my hair don't let the the name of it deter you from it if you have because my hair tech I'm type 4 hair and I'm like probably 4B 4C between there or something like that like I have a very, very tight coily curls textured hair so this definitely works they work great together so these are my hair care items for this month next we're going to go into kind of fashion but it's going to be very short I've been loving these sunglasses here and these are the um these are like some oversized sunglasses they have a gradient effect so they go from this leopard like tortoise into this blue color and i've been loving these i wore these in my last vlog as well i think 
and I can just put them on right now. But yes, I am a huge fan of oversized shades, if you haven't noticed by now. So, and I just love sunglasses, period. So, definitely, I probably will be doing like a sunglass haul soon on like how to get these sunglasses. They look more kind of designer inspired, but for very, very cheap. So, stay tuned for that. Keeping in with fashion, I have these sandals here. I've been wearing these for like the past literally like two weeks so this is more of a new favorites item but I purchased these sandals from fashionnova.com and they're like this rose gold color and it has this vocal detailing on it but I love these I really I'm a sandals person anyway and I know we're into fall weather now but where I live it is still like 60s 70s it was like close to the 80s last weekend so these are very much wearable right now hopefully fingers crossed we actually get some fall weather I can start wearing my boots and scarves and stuff but yes I've been loving these um these were like 20 some dollars I think but I always use the code on fashion over hopefully I get my own code so I can share with you all but we'll get there one day but yeah these are how they look just both of them and the brand um is like it's called so me I think if you can see it, it's obviously fading a little bit. And the last thing for my favorite item, I probably should have did this with my perfumes, but it's a separate category. I love candles, especially for fall. So um, my places that I go to for candles are Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle. Yankee is a little more expensive, but you do get coupons and I get coupons for both. But today I'm going to share like one of my favorite candles. I have several favorite candles from Yankee, but this is like the one that I can, I, I burn it more so year round. So pretty much any season, I always try to keep one of these on my TV stand. But this is the one, it's called Pink Sands. And this is the big one. So I think this is the, this either the, this is either the large candle or the tumbler candle. I can't remember, but I, I, I get the ones that are small. So like half this size as well, just depending. But it smells so good. It's the double wick. It has two wicks here that you burn. And yeah, I just love it. Um, It is a glass container packaging. And then it has this little top like this on it. And I think that's where I'm going to end this video at. Um, let me know if you like my idea of my favorites. Let me know if you have any of these. Let me know if I have inspired you to pick any of these items up. And... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share my video, and I will see you later on this week.